Well, I have been looking forward to this episode ever since I saw the title. And even more so when I saw the description of the episode, especially the word Zomponies. And for me, it didn't disappoint. I enjoyed this episode. Although I can tell already it's probably going to be a little divisive among the fandom. Mostly because some of Rainbow Dash's pranks weren't really pranks other than just being a jerk. And pretty dangerous, too. I mean, Mr. Cake could have lost a tooth with that brick. To say nothing of Big Mac falling down the hill after Rainbow put that giant rock in his cart. How did she lift that thing, anyway? And, of course, the big one, the thing that started all of it, her scaring Fluttershy. Now, I know most are going to say, well, she didn't scare and Griffin the brush off, but, if you remember, it was actually Pinky who stopped Rainbow from doing that. And yes, Rainbow agreed, but after everything they've been through since then, it's possible Rainbow thought Fluttershy might be able to take it. Especially after what happened in the Scare Master. Remember, it was Rainbow who really appreciated Fluttershy's scaring tactics there. So, maybe she thought she could take it while also still being a little easy to scare. Was it one of Dash's proudest moments? Probably not, but that's what they addressed when the Fluttershy called them all together. And even Pinky realized Dash was going a little too far and hence hijacked Dash's prank for the whole Zompony thing. Which was amazing! Once again, it shows that this crew is just not afraid to go all out with the horror elements. There were some shots I'm sure are references to popular zombie movies. Heck, the shot of the silhouette in the window just walking slowly behind Dash was legitimately creepy. Like, I want this crew to be able to work on some kind of horror-esque cartoon show. Maybe if there's a new Ghostbusters cartoon, eh? I will say when this is all revealed, I did have some flashbacks to the Simpsons episode where all Springfield got together to teach Bart and Homer less about trying to con everyone. It is a little implausible that the entire town was in on it, but then again, Ponyville is smaller than Springfield. And they do seem more willing to do things like this. Just wish there was one other pony who wasn't in on the gag, just so we have that great Willy wasn't moment. Also, I'm wondering if this whole episode itself wasn't some kind of commentary on the YouTube prank community and how they sometimes go too far. I might be reading too much into that one, but still, it's a good point overall. And something those prank channels could really learn. I do have to wonder how much Rainbow Dash spent on that giant cake and then the sewing machine cake just to mess with rarity. Seems like a lot of bits to sink into a not very funny prank. Speaking of, uh, the one good thing that came out of this, well aside from Dash learning a lesson, is that the Philly Guide Scouts must have made a killing selling all those cookies. I don't know what they're raising the money for, but they got it! So overall, I enjoyed this episode, but it does seem like it's going to be another your mileage may vary type thing. Which, from what I've seen, seems to be the theme of this half of the season. Hmm. I do hope we can all get back to overall enjoying it, though. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen next. Well, till then, join me next time when I share more of my pony thoughts.